everybody, I'm Lisa, and behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get a reminder every time we post a new video each day. Today, we have 10 things you must see and do if you visit the Disneyland Resort during Halloween time. They are in no particular order. Let's get started. Number 10 on the list is the Main Street Pumpkin Festival. As you head from Town Square down Main Street, you're going to see uniquely carved pumpkins in windows, up above, all of the signs, and on the buildings. The other thing that you must see is the giant pumpkin. Make sure to get your picture taken in front of it and ask one of the Disneyland photographers to add the Evil Queen's poison apple to your hand with her bubbling cauldron down below. Number nine on the list are the costumed characters. Mickey and the gang are dressed up in all of their spooktacular costumes. Make sure that you stop by and get your picture taken with them. You can even get an autograph. Sometimes the lines are a little bit longer this time of the year because it's such a special event to get your picture taken with Mickey in a Dracula costume. However, the cast members are pretty good at keeping the lines moving right along and it's absolutely worth the wait. Number eight on the list is the Haunted Mansion Holiday. You must see the Haunted Mansion Holiday because Jack Skellington and Sally have decked the place out and it's great. Every square inch of the Haunted Mansion is changed and decorated with all of Jack's favorite friends and characters. You can of course see Zero, his ghost dog reindeer, and don't miss the Oogie Boogie Man. As you are leaving the ride from the Haunted Mansion, he's going to place a special gift in your car with you as you're heading out. Number seven on the list are the ghoulish characters from the Haunted Mansion. Since Jack Skellington and Sally have taken over the Haunted Mansion during this time of year, the characters from the Haunted Mansion that normally live there have no place to go. They can be seen wandering around New Orleans Square, but there's also a photo opportunity. Right next to the exit of Pirates of the Caribbean, there's a little cove that they can be found in. The line is sometimes long, but once again, it moves quite quickly. You can see the hitchhiking ghosts from the Haunted Mansion, get your picture taken with them, get their autograph. You can also see Constance Hatchaway. She is the bride that can normally be seen in the Haunted Mansion in the attic scene, and she is a hoot. Make sure if you are visiting Disneyland during Halloween time, you have to head over to New Orleans Square to catch up with some of these characters. Number six on the list are the witch-worthy snacks that can be found throughout both Disney California Adventure and Disneyland. Make sure if you are in Disneyland that you stop by the Plaza Inn and pick up a piece of monster cake. It is delicious. And it's really, really creepy to look at as well because it is multi-layered, bright, vibrant colors, and really, really fun for you and your family. Additionally, as you're walking throughout the, the park, all of the carts have really fun items that you can pick up, like the Poison Apple Souvenir Mug, and there's also a Mickey Mouse Halloween Balloon filled with popcorn. Everywhere you turn, there are witch-worthy snacks that you can pick up to munch on. Number five on the list is the Halloween Screams Fireworks Show. This show can be seen in Disneyland. The Oogie Boogie Bash will be taking place in Disney California Adventure this year, so it's really great that Disneyland has offered a fireworks show that is Halloween themed for the guests that are not able to participate in the Oogie Boogie Bash. And by the way, the Oogie Boogie Bash for 2019 is sold out, so there are no more tickets available, which is what makes this fireworks show so spectacular. You can stand anywhere down Main Street, pointing toward the castle, which is where the fireworks will be going off. Another viewing opportunity is at It's a Small World. There are going to be projections on the castle, on It's a Small World, and on all of the buildings down Main Street. 
Don't miss this opportunity to see an amazing fireworks show. And the host, of course, is Jack Skellington. Number four on the list are the Dapper Dans. They are harmonizing Halloween tunes throughout Disneyland. The Dapper Dans are a regular fixture throughout the year in Disneyland, and anyone who visits the park loves to hear them sing as they walk through the park. However, this time of year is extra special. The Dapper Dans have really been practicing those Halloween tunes. They're singing songs about the Oogie Boogie Man, the Monster Mash, anything you can think of at Halloween time, they are singing. So make sure if you're walking through the park and you hear some harmonizing somewhere off in the distance, search them out because the Dapper Dans have a special show for you. Number three on the list as we head into California Adventure is the celebration of Coco. If you head into California Adventure and back to Plaza de la Familia, you will find a Coco celebration that can't be missed. There is a tree of life where you can celebrate loved ones and there is also a photo opportunity with Miguel. But make sure you see the show. The show plays almost every hour on the hour throughout the day in California Adventure. It is called the Celebration of Coco and it is really wonderful. There is dancing and singing and even Miguel makes a special appearance and comes out and plays his guitar for you. It's a really, really fun experience for the entire family. Make sure you head out to California Adventure and see it if you are there during Halloween time. Number two on the list is also in California Adventure and it is the rides. Make sure if you make it into California Adventure during Halloween time that you head to Monsters After Dark. After 5 p.m. every day, Guardians of the Galaxy turns into Monsters After Dark. It is really, really fun and it is a different experience if you are used to riding the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. It is Rocket trying to save Groot who has somehow gotten lost in the fortress and there are monsters after him. So you've got to get over there and help him save Groot. On Halloween day, Monsters After Dark will be playing all day long. Additionally, if you head into Cars Land, which is also called Radiator Springs, but this year it's named Radiator Screams, make sure you head over to Luigi's Honkin' Halloween. Luigi is so excited because Halloween is his very favorite holiday. So he has it decorated with Halloween themed items and you can listen to some great Halloween tunes as you dance in your cars around the dance floor. Also in Cars Land, make sure you don't miss all of the Cars characters dressed up in their costumes. You can't miss Mater dressed up as Dracula and also you have to head over to Mater's Graveyard Jamboree. Mater's Graveyard Jamboree is such a hoot it is so much fun and he has a monster mash fun time every time you go there. Your tractor pull ride will be whipped around to Halloween themed songs and it is a blast. And number one on the list, make sure before you leave the parks you pick up a creepy keepsake or souvenir. This time of year Disneyland and California Adventure are filled with Halloween merch. They have so many great items that you can buy to take home as a memory of your trip to the park that day. They have t-shirts, stuffed animals, and all kinds of candy and treats. Also, make sure you pick up your Mickey Mouse Halloween bucket for trick-or-treating this year. All right, everybody, that will conclude our video of the 10 fun things you must see and do if you visit the Disney Resort during Halloween time. I wanted to let you know that the Disney Resort celebrates Halloween from September 6th through October 31st, so there is still plenty of opportunities for you to make it there to check out all of these fun things. Additionally, I wanted to let you know that the Electrical Parade is leaving as of September 30th, 2019. So if you're wanting to see that, you don't have much time left, 
make sure you head to Disneyland and that obviously is shown at night because it's the electrical parade and it lights up the area. I hope you enjoyed our video. Again, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we're Belisa. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching our video. Bye!